What is up guys? This is Sifi coming back at you with another pickups video. Yes, the pickups have not stopped. I uh, have actually had an awesome, awesome last couple of months. Um, so SE3 just passed and it was amazing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the trading section was just killer this year. Uh, it was huge. People brought tons of stuff. Um, there was some guy who brought up boxes of like sealed stuff like turbo games. Uh, Game Boy games, just tons of crazy stuff. Um, Jaguar games, all for like two bucks, five bucks. It was crazy. Uh, they, they, there was a couple, a couple of sealed Blazing Lasers, a couple of sealed Ordines. It was nuts. A uh, guy said he just had a bunch of doubles of stuff that he'd been just accumulating over the years and uh, brought it all down to SE three to move, and it moved. Uh, a lot of guys got a lot of good deals. Um, so let's get down to uh, what I was able to pick up at SC3 and a few other items that actually I got uh, through just eBay um, and some um, other uh, you know hookups and stuff like that. I did score on a turbo lot that I got for 120 shipped. Uh, unfortunately the system was sold at SC3. It was a turbo graphic system, uh, two controllers, uh, a joystick. Unfortunately, the joystick did have some issues with the sliders um, for the turbo fire, but I let my friend Berman have it. He needed an extra controller, so you know he he, he took that. I gave, I hooked them up. I, like I said, I did sell the system to some to someone there, and uh, they were super ecstatic to pick up a turbo. Uh, and it came with Keith Courage and uh, three games, and uh, I think the lot was totally worth it. Got uh, Bonk's Adventure. Got uh, Bonk's Revenge. And Ninja Spirit. So it was those three games, Keith Courage, the system, and it also came with an item that I had been looking for for a while, uh, which was this Turbo Graphics Turbo Secrets book, uh, which has, uh, I guess, secrets for some of the earlier titles, which is kind of cool. And I've been wanting that, so that actually came with the bundle for a 120 shipped system, those games, and this book, and a joystick. Couldn't beat that deal. So that was a, a pretty rad pickup there. Um, and these games are double, so they are for trade. Uh, let's get down to uh, uh, my, my friend Berman hooked it up with uh, Friday the 13th uh, for the uh, NES, which is a game I do not have. So thank you, Berman, for that. Uh, a couple of really nice scores that I got at SC3. Um, thank you to my buddy uh, Alan J at Alan J uh, Video Games at Frankincense. If you guys ever go to Frankincense, pay him a visit, buy some stuff from him. Uh, he'll give you a good price. Um, and he hooked it up with a really nice copy of Final Fight Guy. Um, he popped out with this, and I had a jump on it, so I was able to pick it up. It's a really nice copy with a really nice label. So super, super happy to add this one to the Super Nintendo collection. Got a pretty good deal from my buddy uh, Air Force Shields. Hooked it up with uh, Kirby's Dreamland 3, which is a title that I did not have. Gave me a really, really cool bro price, so thank you Air Force Shields. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, uh, once again, coming through and hooking it up. And he hooked it up with, uh, for a lot of people at the event. I mean, he hooked up uh, my buddy Juan with the Nerfbound. Hooked up my friend Evan with the Bubble Bubble 2. Hooked up uh, my boy David Kim Shakfunaki with... Uh, uh, Zombie Nation, I mean, he came with stuff. I mean, he came with a lot of good stuff, and uh, he hooked everybody up, so everybody scored. So that was pretty rad. Awesome bro prices as well. I uh, was able to do a trade. Uh, I did have a Turbo uh, PC Engine Duo that I happen to have. Uh, my friend, my buddy uh, Brian, uh, happened to have a title I kind of wanted that he had just picked up on. And it's a pretty rare fam uh, Super Famicom title. Um, it's a pretty expensive title actually, and that is uh, the Ninja Warriors again for the Super Famicom. It's in excellent condition, uh, game manual and everything is in the box, and uh, this is like a $200 to $250 game. Um, so he needed a duo, I like the game, so I picked that up. So thank you Brian once again for an awesome trade. Uh, my buddy Juan picked up a box Turbo Graphics at the event, and his box Turbo Graphics had the uh, Turbo Graphics 16 poster, which I did not have, and he hooked it up. So thank you, Juan. I'll link his channel below as well. Uh, definitely go subscribe to the guy. He's a really nice guy. And this is the Turbo Graphics 16 poster that came in the box uh, with the Turbo Graphics. It opens up uh, pretty nicely. Uh, it's pretty huge. Uh, I'll, I won't open up the whole thing, but this thing opens up a couple of more folds. 
and uh, has uh, upcoming games and so on and so forth, and it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll have it framed and put up on the wall or something. So, Juan, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate the hookup on that. And in my, one of my previous videos, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I picked up a GameCube kiosk. Uh, a while back, I had gotten rid of all my GameCube stuff um, and uh, picked up the kiosk. And where we have it, we have a table right in front of it, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to have wireless controllers for it. So I got a couple of pretty good deals uh, at SC3. I got a, um, a Platinum uh, GameCube controller, uh, the Wavebird, and uh, it came with the uh, sensor as well. And I believe this was 20 bucks. And I got another one for 20 bucks as well, and that's the regular one. And uh, this one also has the sensor, so I'll be hooking, hooking these up to the kiosk. And I'll be able to, you know, sit down at the table and, you know, play Mario Kart or whatever. So that's pretty, pretty rad. Another uh, hookup, uh, my buddy Brian also hooked it up with a uh, Pirate uh, PC Engine cart. And this is one that I do not have. This is a cool one. This is a 4-in-1. This one contains R-Type 1, uh, Car Racing of the Century, uh, Monsters of the Road, and World of Adventures. Um, which I think are names for other games, uh, which might be Motor Rotor, and uh, I'm not sure what the other ones are, but these are really cool. These are, um, I believe, Chinese knockoffs. Uh, you can see that they're uh, bulkier, and I have a couple other ones of these, but I did not have this one, and he hooked it up. This was a duplicate, so thank you, Brian, and for that, I have something for you. was able to pick up another Super CD-ROM unit. Uh, I picked up a few videos back, I picked up a CD-ROM unit off eBay, uh, which I needed to send off to get fixed. Um, and then locally somebody hit me up uh, on Craigslist and um, told me they had one as well that also has issues, but if I wanted it, I can you know, pick it up. Got a really nice price for it, came with the original AC adapter, it's cable, and this game. So Brian, this one, this game's going to be uh, heading your way for hooking it up with the pirate cart, and that is uh, Gradius for the uh, Super CD-ROM. Uh, and I was able to, the guy hooked it up with this game, um, so uh, that was pretty rad. I already have that game, so that'll be going to you, Brian. And uh, here is the Super CD-ROM unit. Um, power's on, um, but I believe it also has laser issues, so I believe both of them have laser issues. So I'll be getting these fixed. Once they're fixed, uh, one of these bad boys will be up for sale or for trade. So if anyone out there needs one of these, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, so well, yeah, two of these in, this, in the same month when I wasn't able to get one for the last three or four years. Well, that's pretty crazy. And last but not least, is it a pretty amazing item that popped up on eBay and I just had to get it. Um, and let me see if I can make room here. And this is actually a lighted Triple Graphic 16 sign. Oh, let's put this thing up here. I don't think it'll come out in the... Uh, on the screen here, but check that out. It's a Turbo Graphic 16 uh, sign. Uh, the guy said he didn't know where this was from. Once I saw it, I knew where this was from. Uh, being a Turbo Graphics freak, I know exactly what this goes on. This is the top of the Turbo Graphic 16 official kiosk. So this would actually be a, a part of the top. You could see the indentation here, uh, basically, and the monitor would be down at the bottom here. Um, so yeah, so this is a pretty cool little item here. It's basically a has a, a, a plastic bezel around it, and it has a light on the inside, and then the TurboGrafx logo. So hopefully one day I'll be able to track down that uh, kiosk and be able to put this on top where it's supposed to go. And uh, I promised my buddy, John Stover, that I would light it up, turn it on so you can see what it looks like. Let's see if it fires up. And there we go. Check that out. So I'll close the video off with uh, this cool... Uh, lighted sign um, like I said if I don't find a place to put it I'll probably put it on top of something else and um, yeah so super excited to get this uh, it's an awesome piece to own and I got this for a really good price uh, the guy shipped it really nicely came packed really nice and um, yeah if anyone out there has any pieces like this let me know I'm super interested in that stuff so that's pretty much it guys until next time this is Syphic uh, signing out uh, there will be a couple of more trade events. There will be a Pixel Vault trade event at the end of this month. And there's also one at Super Video Game Bros. in... Um, uh, I'll yeah, I, I forgot the city, but uh, I'll post links to both of the events coming up. I'll be there with some stuff, so if you guys want to roll down and make some trades, let me know. Show up. 
and uh, we'll get it done or if not just come on by hang out and it's a um, you know a couple of nice me trade meetups and trade events so you know, those have been good uh, to us lately so head on out so until next time guys this is Cyphic signing out take care lates